Hey guys, Ben here with Gun Media. We're going to be talking about Breach and Clear in our second weekly after action report. I've got good news about the Apple update. They have it in their hands. We're waiting on them to give approval for everything. So the kill cams, the instant replays, everything we've talked about, you guys are about to have at your fingertips. Speaking of instant replays, I want to show you exactly how that works. You're going to be able to tap replay every time you finish a turn. And you're going to see exactly what you did from any angle that we currently offer in game. Also, we've got our customization, guns. You're going to be able to go right into the workbench, hit the color pin picker, and you're going to be able to change the hue and saturation of your gun. I've got the Mark 16 right here. I'm going to be able to say, I want a tan color. I'm going to be able to save that tan color and put it into my favorites. So any gun, any attachment is going to be right where you want it in terms of color. We've got the new armor options coming as well, so be on the lookout. You're going to be able to change your guys in any way that you can possibly think of in ways that we offer. So, one other thing that we haven't announced and we did put in, we've been hearing a lot on the forums, we've been hearing a lot on our social media channels, is people have been wanting an auto refill option for their consumables. The good news is we're also offering that on our first update. So every time you use a grenade, every time you use a med kit, as long as you've got more in your inventory, it's going to go right back where it was, so you don't have to constantly change that. So hopefully you guys like that when it comes out. And to our community, we want to thank Andres Alvarez, who is our 3,000th follower. We sent him a Breach and Clear patch as thanks for following us. You guys have been killing it, and we can't wait to give you even more challenges. Speaking of challenges, you guys know that we've done a Turkey Mission 01 challenge. We want to know exactly how fast you could finish that mission. The winners was Vladimir Steiner at 1.9 seconds. That's ridiculous. Nobody on this team was even able to get close to that. Best we could probably do was around three seconds. So he's going to be winning a breach and clear patch as well. We're going to have more challenges coming soon. They're going to be a little bit more defined. We're going to ask you to do specific difficulties on specific maps with specific teams. So be on the lookout for your chance to win a breach and clear patch. Well, guys, that's it for this weekly AAR. I want to thank you all for checking us out, and happy breaching.